Oh, I'm not here to look at the uh, sky today. I'm here to look at this. This is uh, Kington Lacey or something of that sort. And it is interesting that uh, half of the building is up against this bank here. Let's get down into the lower levels. Nice size windows. Uh, imagine horse and cart times. People are living very simply. And they build this. With grounds that are thousands of acres, thousands of acres. butted up against the bank there. Why would you do that? Did the night come from this side? They'll use the house from that side. Of course this will have a basement. No matter the footprint. Seem to always have a basement in this steep embankment. Oh, it's quite a quite a valley and some lovely grounds. Imagine how much wood you could harvest for yourself from here. Perhaps they had other energy. Yes, this concrete work that's here on the facade is a facade, and um, even that up there. Very civilized, isn't it? People living in Disneyland. Come and see how simple people live. People pay 15 quid per person to walk around here. But now, I normally don't pay, but I manage to score a, a comp. So, quick walk and talk. I might um, try and get back in here and have a look around if I've got the time. So, yeah, so this is the terrace level. Is there a basement? It's all been plastered over there, those windows. This is part of energy harvesting, that octagon that they've got up there. I've seen so many of them. The person credited with the design or the build of this will be the person who finished it in the 1800s. I-M-H-O. Polsden Lacey, there you go, that's what it's called. All that scaffolding to do a little repair. Yeah, this bank here on the side, on the other side of the building, it makes it big as common logic. Because if you've had to build, if you've had to build, if, it, if you've had to cut this bank back in order to build in the walls, because you can't just simply build a wall against an embankment. But if you had to cut the walls back, you would leave that space open. You would put in a retaining wall. That uh, that little housing, of the, that little bit of the building there, seems to be buried into the soil. There's stuff hidden beneath our feet that we might find. That's why there's the Royal Arch, the Royal Archaeological Society, because they 
other ones you can control and fund. Research. Heavy and dark. Heavy and dark. You don't need it. Yeah. Smells musty. Look at the height of this. A quick, quick peek. My grandparents said something like that. This lady. Mm -hmm. people are time for woodwork. They have blue lights in the 1800s. Awesome card. It's not a space man. They didn't know where America was in the 1700s. Well... I'm getting lost in Okay, this is kind of boring. Old school. Probably find the moon in that. Servants' quarters. Am I going to the basement? No, mm, on the ground. Current ground level. Is it downstairs? Well, blow me. Oh, we're not quite downstairs yet. <laughs> is there a basement? There is, yes. We've got um, the basement's connector to one another, but unfortunately they're not open for the public view. Oh, okay. Um, but yes. She's are they pretty extensive basements? Or? They are. They're, they're kind of the whole of the, the footprint of the footprint house. Footprint of the house, yes. Okay. And they've got a tunnel mm. connecting the, the two between them. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yes. Thanks for the info. That's okay. Cheers. <sighs> See? You can't write this stuff. It's painfully true. There's no way out. Well, there you go, friends. That was a quick visit. That was a quick visit. 
just to whet the appetite. Um, what's it called? Holston lace. You know, it's got a. I have to look it up. But really, it all reeks of refurb. The people who assumed responsibility for the land took ownership of these places. And they've got these huge vast estates. And we were talking earlier about Andrew and I about the um, uh, the church and how much land the church owns. It's eye-watering, staggering. Um, the government obviously owns or holds a lot of the land too. So they hide their schools, libraries, universities, things like that. They hide all of the the great buildings like this um, under these corporate banners. And, uh, yeah, again, it, it makes no sense that you would build a digger potato store as large as the entire floor of that, that, that house. Um, as for the tunnels between the two, I'm not quite sure what you meant by that, but... <coughs> Staggering, eh? People were living in, like, according to the narrative, like wood cabins kind of thing, you know? And yet, because someone's got a lot of money, they can build that up. Uh, to reclaim the Freemasonry, someone claimed. Uh, I'll leave it there.